Okay, volume distribution VA. Let's begin looking. This is a volume distribution VA on a one minute chart. This is, by the way, a, based on pure volume. Uh, this is a five, well, it's a two minute chart, but we can change it to a five minute chart. I'll scroll through real slow so you can get a good idea and obviously you can pause the video. By the way, any of these videos at the bottom right hand corner, uh, there are two icons there which allow you to increase the resolution of the video and also expand the size of the video. When you do that you have a much more crisp or clear view of this video and you can see the details a little bit a lot nicer than the default size that it is in the beginning so you can completely control that. Let's go back to the last one. What this indicator is doing is basically starting at the beginning of the session and then resetting at the beginning of the next session. So this is a daily volume distribution. Here we have the same indicator on a 500 tick bar. Point being that you can use it on tick charts. Particularly very useful when we begin when you if you want to scalp a trend. Uh, you can use other trend indicators, but generally, when the market's trending, it's going to continue. It's going to push out of that volume distribution. The volume distribution will be right behind it, like a trailing stop, so to speak. Uh, and if the market pulls back in, finds support, and then makes a higher high back inside, it'll move back inside the volume distribution. But if it quickly moves back out again, that's your signal that the trend is resuming. example here's a good example where we pulled in pushed back out trend resumed here we pulled in notice how we didn't make a higher high than the prior high here we pushed back inside pulled out and went back in made a higher high found support here again made a higher high your signal that price is going to continue moving to the center of the distribution and above going higher and generally speaking it'll go and test that the highs of the volume distribution if it fails to test the highs and push out of it and then begins making lower lows, it'll push back out and begin to trend. So it's very good in terms of those of you who use tick charts to scalp trends and if you want to identify trends more accurately. Here it is on a volume chart. Uh, this is a futures contract, so it would be volume instead of share, volume contract bar, I suppose. Uh, it's a 1,000 share bar which reflects 1000 contracts traded within each bar there's also this indicator is also available in uh, as a weekly so set on a let's look at a higher interval here's both weekly and daily volume distributions combined so the weekly will start at the beginning of the week and reset at the beginning of the next week this gives you a good idea where the volume distribution is occurring within a week. And for anybody who trades, uh, monitoring what happens within one week's price action is quite important, uh, particularly how the week starts and how the week ends. Uh, it gives us a good idea what traders are feeling comfortable doing in terms of their longer term positions. If they're holding on to their positions or if they're exiting their positions at the end of the week. And volume distribution is very helpful in determining how the end of the week for example this week quite obvious what happened towards the from the beginning to the end and we closed well above the weekly volume distribution area and the next week we built some volume here and began trending again and you, combining the two is quite very helpful because you can see what this each single session's volume distribution is doing with respect to the weekly. Not only the developing week but the prior week. Okay, now that we've taken a look at what what in, what inter intervals we can uh, apply this or what type of charts we can apply this indicator to, let me give you a little bit of explanation about what this indicator does. Um, it's quite simple. The logic of the indicator tells is simple. Is we're looking for a price range that represents the volume distribution input 
percent that we've entered. So if, uh, if we're looking, if we enter as the input, show us 50% of the volume distribution, the logic would be find a range that has 50% of the volume distribution and plot the range plot the high and the low of the volume of that 50% volume distribution. By default, the indicator is set to 70%, uh, which is just a tad above two standard deviations, but you could set it to any percentile that you like. Uh, you could start from 5% and go all the way up to 95% and higher. Um, Popular settings for this type of this this type of indicator would be right around two standard deviations, so around 70%. And some folks like to put it on 90% as well. Uh, it's, it's obviously your option. You can set it to either setting you like. And it's essentially that's what the indicator is. It'll find a range where uh, the input percent that you enter, it'll find the range based on that input and plot the volume distribution.